right guys welcome back to the channel today we are back on eskimo cowboy and yes you have guessed it it's hyper hyper again do you know what i don't think i am ever ever going to be um bored of listening to these renditions of um hyper hyper because they're so fucking cool and so diverse and so just just so some of them are out there and some of them are cool some are like you know we just love this song and i love the fact that they're, they're appreciating this song by having so many different artists uh, doing different things in the songs in this particular one they're called axel one i have never heard of axel one but i'm dying to check it out because obviously all the other ones that i've listened to have been absolutely brilliant and i don't think this is going to be any, on any other exception uh, to them but um I'm, I'm interested to see what style it will be this time because there's been there's been like deathcore and folk music and like you know some other stuff in between so anyway before we jump into this reaction if you do actually like my videos then please consider hitting like and subscribe it supports me it supports the channel and i appreciate it very very much so without further ado we're back here again it's groundhog day eskimo cowboy hyper hyper with axel one let's go oh okay I love the fact that all these people who are playing instruments have uh, got the mullet and the moustache as well. They're just doing it to everybody in the song. It's like they're, they're making it like an infection where if you play this song, you will turn into one of Eskimo Cowboy and have the hair and the the, the moustache and stuff. It's so fucking cool. Oh, do you know it's very, it's very, very production orientated musically. This it it feels very, very dramatic and very, you know, like hyper, hyper. Like, instead of like all the other stuff that we're listening to, it's dead. It's it's mellow, but it's dramatic at the same time. The fact that Eskimo Cowboy coming and giving and giving it all this uh, is, is is just a testament to all of their humour. It's brilliant. <laughs> Oh, it's because the kickins to do something different there. The, the drum beat and everything. But I wanted to talk about this for a second. Do you know it's it's really understated version of this song because obviously we we used to it being like metal car etc. and like a bit like cheesy dance pop. But this it's very very slow and melodic. I'm loving the the violins that's going on in the background and all the other instruments that they're playing. It just sounds like it should be in a film. And the way they're doing it, it's like it's all, almost solemn and sad. But you know, it's as you know the song yourself. It's it's a fun party type song with you know serious elements in it. 
even though they're acting like idiots in the, in most of the videos for these, which is brilliant because they're still acting like idiots in this. But it's funny because it's all done. It's all done for humour, and it's just. I love I love their sense of humour. I said it once. I said it a hundred times. I love their sense of humour and getting this uh, other um, band or artist in actual one is just another stroke of genius because it's another it's another genre that this song is being played in. It's cool as shit and it's still cool as shit. I'm looking forward to see what this next um, the, when the beat kicks in how, how it sounds from then on. Let's go. <laughs> was like, like a really really melodic version of that song and very nice and soothing the, uh, the the violins and everything else that we're playing i'm not very well up on orchestral instruments and stuff so i can't name every single instrument that we're playing but i didn't recognize the violin sounds and stuff but yeah it was it was really like i say really understated and, and nice and melodic and it sounded really really nice on the ears especially when they did the you're alone on the dance floor baby part and the piano, the, the deep piano came in as well as the rest of the stuff. And it just sounded really, really nice on your knees. It was cool as shit, as all these renditions are. I'm looking forward to the next one, if there is a next one. I don't know how many of these they're going to be doing. But, <laughs> fantastic. Axel One versus Eskimo Cowboy. Another top-notch song. Uh, another, sorry, another top-notch version of that song, which is <laughs> obviously... Who would have thought that when we first heard Hyper Hyper, like, like last year... That there's going to be so many renditions of this one song because when you first hear it, it's like, what the hell is this? You know what I mean? Then you, you look, by the end of it, you love it, you love the song. And then you think it's over and you, you you move on to whatever reaction or songs you do next. But then obviously they've started bringing them all back now, which is well, music to my ears. Uh, anyway, if you like my videos, then please like and subscribe and support me on Patreon or any of the social medias. And the links in the description. Thanks for watching us. I'll see you on the next one.